Welcome to this Prezi on gathering preliminary research. It will include where to gather research, how to gather research, when to use the internet, and a sample process to gather preliminary research. Once you have selected an essay topic, take some time to read through the relevant sections of your textbook and go to the library to try and find a general book about your topic. Subject-specific dictionaries, encyclopedias, and bibliographies may help you get a better sense of the information related to your topic. If a book is available, look over the table of contents and skim through a few chapters. By reading the table of contents, you can see how another author has broken down a topic and get an idea of what sort of information is available. In addition, skimming through a few chapters while paying special attention to chapter titles, headings, and subheadings might give you some ideas about how you can narrow your research. At the end of each chapter, the author will often include a list of suggested readings or related topics. This can aid you in finding related research on your topic. If you can't find a book that deals specifically with your topic, try to find a journal article that relates to it. Journal articles will usually outline the argument on the first page. Read the abstract to see if the article will be of use to you. Even newspapers or magazines can be valuable when conducting preliminary research. Of course, it is also useful to look through your lecture notes. Your instructor may even have provided a list of outside or suggested readings, which can be useful if they are related to the topic you have chosen to write about. While you read, make sure that you actively engage with the material. It is helpful to have a pen and a pad of paper on hand while you read because it will allow you to write down ideas and process what you are reading. Critical writing depends on critical reading. Therefore, while you read, Make sure that you pay attention to your own responses and questions related to the topic. If you use the internet to find some information, there are a couple things to remember. Narrow your research topic before you go online. Think about what you are looking for, and if possible, create a few specific questions to help guide your research. Keep track of the websites you visit. This is necessary because when you go to actually gather evidence for your essay, you can revisit the useful websites. Keep in mind that many easily accessible databases or websites, such as Wikipedia, are not considered reliable academic sources. However, they can be good places to begin your research because the information is generally easy to read. If you find relevant material from one of those sources, check the source's bibliography for reliable academic sources. If you are having trouble finding preliminary research, the help of a reference librarian can be extremely beneficial in this process. Stop by the library reference desk for more information. Here is a sample process for conducting preliminary research. Write down all of the information you know about a topic and see whether there are any areas of interest to you or any questions for further research. The topic is, identify a company that has been responsible for an environmental disaster within the last 10 years. Explain what went wrong and how these errors contributed to the disaster. Companies that have been responsible for environmental disasters within the last 10 years. Syncrude, BP, Acme 2000. State what may have gone wrong. Communication breakdown, employee error, faulty procedures. Explain how these errors contributed to the disaster. Research is needed. It is clear that preliminary research is needed on the specific environmental disasters the companies were responsible for. Perhaps a few more companies can be identified. As well, there are only a few things listed that may have gone wrong, so it would be worthwhile to look into more causes of the disasters. To start the preliminary research process, you could go over lecture notes, textbook readings, news articles, and books that have been recently published. At this time, there is not enough information to answer how the errors contributed to the disaster, so it could be part of the focus of your preliminary research. Think of a few questions you could ask about the errors to help guide you in the research process. A question could be, who is responsible for the miscommunication? Once you have gathered adequate preliminary research, it will be time to brainstorm on your topic and get your creative juices flowing. The next Prezi in the Writing Process series will focus on brainstorming, 